looked at the um, the UI briefly, and it's completely fucking different than the last time I looked at it. Is ranch goats? I remember like starting off with the sheep things. I think we'll probably just play the pig orc thing, guys, dudes, and stuffs. Also, hi, goat prince. I, I suggest. I, I think I, I might know why you're suggesting I. I uh, ranch goats, but I will take this goated suggestion, and uh, you won't have to goat me too hard into it. Because I, I, I bleat that this must be true. I, I'm trying to fit another goat pun in there, and I think that's all I can do. Anyway, uh, uh, Twitch chat, it's time to say hi, YouTube. <laughs> I, 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 I tried really hard, okay? Hi, goat tube. <laughs> anyway, uh, it me, uh, Adri. Thank you very much for the third month. Welcome back with Prime. Appreciate you. So we're just gonna play a random game. Scripts dig too deep. Uh, adds a slight chance when digging into mountains uh, that you dig too deep and strange things happen as a result. Spawns mysterious eclipses during gameplay. Spawns extra raids at certain population. And eh, no, thank you. I definitely do not. What's this? Uh, spawns an angry warlord with a huge army once you reach 6,000 population bent on destroying you. I do like the eclipses, though. That seems fun. Um, furnishing, robustness, conversion, happiness. We'll just leave. We'll leave every, you know, I'm going to leave everything on normal. Oh, trust me. The UI is going to look completely different, Soul Shinery. Um, so this, this is my first time playing this game in, like, uh, 450 days. Um, it has been a long time. Eclipses are when the sun and moon get to kiss. Aw, that's cute. So these are our starting options. Now, you do kind of end up with a blend of everybody eventually, but you can kind of pick who you start with. Uh, there's the Kratorians, who are uh, they're, they're excellent farmers. They're peaceful and submissive, easy to please, and worship at inexpensive Temples, which is nice. Uh, they're bad at in they're bad industrials. They don't like combat, and they're obsessed with food, so they eat a lot. Um, whereas um, these guys, the the humans, I think, no, they, the sorry, the dwarves uh, are excellent craftsmen, good but begrudging miners, uh, so they get pissed if they mine, but they're good at it. Um, hardy in combat and lawful and mentally stable, but they're difficult to please. They hate Tilipi and Garithami. Uh They're bad food producers, and they want to live in mountains. <laughs> Um, the bug people uh, are fast breeders. They have low demands. They 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 have piercing damage in combat because they have like claws. Uh, they're good miners. Uh, they 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 have belt crawler belt crawler ranchers to start with, which are like a pretty good like um, herd animal. Uh, they move quickly. They have weak morale, limited skills across the board, and are terrible at knowledge work. <laughs> they're very dumb. Um, then the humans, which are excellent scientists and managers, good farmers, and a good learning rate, but they're unremarkable in battle, criminal and mentally unstable, limited natural skills, and difficult to please. Right. Um, then there's whatever these guys are. I think they're like the dragon people. They're like the lizard kin or whatever. Uh, they've got low appetite. They're good all around, hardy fighters, and religiously flexible. Uh, they must live close to fresh water. They dislike other species, and they're poor farmers and slow breeders. Sounds like humans. Um, and then, um... The last one is like the, the kind of green elf people. Uh, they're excellent woodcutters, excellent herders, and excellent ranged combat. They can be violent, they dislike everybody. Um, I actually quite like playing them because they just become like big farming things. They want to live in mountains but hate to dig. Yep. Um, so I think we just start as these duders because to me that seems the most fitting. If we end up playing a bunch of this um, over the next couple months, we'd play, uh, I'd also play the dwarves and I'd also probably play the elves because like I actually quite like the way they end up playing. At least I've liked it in the past, so. Also, hey, Jix, over in the YouTube chat. Hello, how are you? We accidentally dug into a fish city and now we are fish and they're gonna catch us. Sure, yes. Uh, choose random map type. So this is your continent. This isn't what you play on. This is what the continent looks like. Um, hmm. That looks kind of cool. Can we be bug people? Not this time. I'm just going to be the orcs. Because the bug people are kind of idiots. 
So now we have to select where we live, um, which is going to be our capital. And then it's going to build um, towns and stuff. So we have to find somewhere that looks cool. Um, we have to find some resources because otherwise we're just going to be trading for everything. So if you want your your, your, your run to be a, live, a ever living hell, you can go like here. It's like a spot without mineable resources. It will be more difficult. This location is isolated and will, initially will you will be left alone by other factions, but there will be a little opportunity for trade. Stuff like that, right? Um, or I could go like up here where it's just like a spot with little uh, forest will be more difficult. Uh, so you want some of everything, right? You, you want some forest. You want some you want some mineable resources, and you also want things to be close-ish to you. I think something like this could be pretty nice. This has what? It has mountain forest, open land. Uh, it's got gems, a spot with little fresh water. Uh, it could be more difficult because there's no fresh water, so we want some fresh water. Um, well, I'm not going to get, like, everything, but I can try and get, like, a healthy middle thing. If you want your, your life to be ever living hell, go there. Points of France. <laughs> There's ships. There are ships. Stuff moves around on the overworld. There's like trading and such. Um, I'll say this. This game is somewhere between Rimworld and or Fortress in its overworld. The Rimworld is a lot more... Manu the overworld is a lot more manufactured. At least in my experience. This may have changed. However, the amount of variety and flexibility that happens on the overworld is a lot more interesting, at least to me, uh, than what RimWorld was ever capable of, at least in my experience with RimWorld. Which, again, also may have changed. Ooh. Some fancy ore there. Uh, regenerate. Edit terrain. Okay, so I can actually edit things. That's kind of cool. I feel like this would be a really fun spot. But uh, let's actually let's let's regenerate this. Give us a a new scattering of resources and such. Because I I, I want something that has some sort of fresh water on it, <laughs> but also at least one main resource. Something like this, right? Like this has ore. This location is isolated, and where you'll initially be left alone. A spot with little fresh water could be more difficult. But there's fresh water. What are we talking about? Is that not fresh water? That literally is a river. <laughs> if that isn't fresh water, then I'm a goose. This area is full of clay, so that's surface mining, because clay is like pit mining. Germany, guten talk. I should actually like refresh my German a little bit. Ooh. I really wish that this right here. I'm just going to regenerate this island until we get something good. Sparrow Hill. Is this Europe? Kind of looks like Europe. Let's see if I can get something a bit more random, because I actually I don't like this land mass. Quit to menu, don't save. Uh, play. Random game. Let's turn on eclipses. Go. We're gonna start off as the these guys, and I'll just go random. Just give me a completely random map instead of going with the Europe overlay. It's it's it, that that map definitely was loosely Europe, yeah. But I want something just a little bit more random, so it's a little bit more less predictable. Really is like hounding me on the freshwater thing. So I'm I'm trying to figure out like what defines fresh water. Cause it's all of these are saying like areas with little fresh water will be more difficult. Maybe it's just telling me that everywhere. So it's just it wants me to settle on a river or something. Because all of this is new. This this is very different from the last time I played. But I am gonna be staring at this for a while. Wow, this is gonna be an interesting layout. I also haven't settled in any of these like super cold areas. Could you please go like the YouTube stream? You can link the YouTube stream in the uh, Twitch chat, Lord JJ, if you like. 
But uh, yeah, if you if Twitch people want to help out the YouTube side of things at almost no cost to yourself, you can do that by uh, going to the YouTube stream and leaving a like on it. I kind of want pretty high fertility though. And the reason I want high soil fertil fertility is because that's what our guys need for food. <laughs> so basically I want like clay or or because or coal or something because that'll give us some form of good trading and I want decent ground fertility. So like this area has really good ground fertility. This actually could be good. That area could be pretty good. But also along these, this could this would be more like a tropical desert thing. This could also be neat. Because that's got a decent amount of clay in it. You can manually edit individual resources. Yeah, I should probably click that button and see what it lets me do. Sink Mountain, Skip Mountain, Climate, Ground. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hmm. Although I do think, like, down here would be pretty fun. How about we just... Chuck a little river over here. Oh wait, no, that's ocean, not, not river. Duh. Do I have, river, there it is. Small river, lake, okay. Let's go sm small river, run a small river this way. Over to that. And let's go to resources. And let's just throw in some clay deposits. Right there. And give us some forest. Alright, let's back out of this. Ah, jeez. <laughs> then I clicked the wrong button. Well, I regenerated the whole thing. Is what it is. Although, now I see this. This might even be better. Saves me from having to edit it. Let me just plop in a... Uh, <laughs> a little river. It, de it definitely doesn't say parasite, but... I wish that would let me undo that, but... How's this? That's interesting. How is that 50% mountain? Hmm. I don't know how interesting this is, but this is like friggin' fascinating to me. Ooh. That's actually kind of rad. That or just take an area like this and just like plop in some resources. Because that's a really cool spot right there. Also, I should mention these maps are gigantic that you get to play on. Also, hi, Canadian Pagan. I have not been looking at chat for a little bit. Reinhardt, it's good to see you. Gamer Flicks, hello. And uh, Rashmir, hello. In the, in the uh, YouTube chat as well. Yeah, I think this might be our spot. Although, I'm a little bit iffy about the amount of mountain there. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to go to this button. And I'm going to click this. I'm going to throw in some... 
clay deposits. And I'm also going to throw in some stone deposits. And let's not give us too much. So I'll do one small ore deposit. Hit check mark. And you know what? I think that's going to be our spot. So 103% fertility. We're going to get clay, a little bit of stone, and ore. Do you have any goal? Uh, I have to relearn the game first, and then I'll get back to you on that. Pre-committed to Arma 3 sesh with friendos? Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So then it generates the world. Because all of this is new since the last time I played. So now I can look at the world. So this is our country down here. Uh, the Tiverse Empire. And Linabra. Linabra is our uh, capital. Our neighbors are um, Animira, I guess. These are all different countries that now exist, or little city-states, I suppose. Um, yes, there is map-wide conquest in this game. You can take over the whole world. Uh, you can send... It's kind of like Total War in Top Down. Yes, you can also auto-resolve. Although, I'll tell you this, you fight with your city's population, and or mercenaries and or your whole city state's population so combat is high risk and often poor reward unless you are very ahead of the enemy so it's a lot of building and then combat ha at least okay so this this is what it was a year and a half ago it was like 10 hours of building for 10 minutes of combat and then you take over a thing and your economy spikes up and then repeat it combat is not a super frequent thing I would say combat is more frequent in most games with combat. So just like IRL. Sure, yeah, you don't really want to... F in, in my experiment... You, you, can, you, you can have multiple cities. You can have multiple cities, but you don't have direct control, I don't think. Although, I think you can fight in enemy cities. I know that things can fight in your cities. I've had invasions in my cities, and that's pretty rad. I will say this game has only ever been on sale once. Um, so if you're the sort of person to wait on sales, this game doesn't really go on sale. Um, it does also have a demo, to my knowledge. But I, it's like, he does, the de 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 developer has done the Path of Acra thing, where the demo is like, the full game, but it's really out of date. I don't know if he's ever updated it. Let me double check. Yes, it does in fact have a demo. I don't know if he's ever updated the demo. So if you want to try like, a vertical slice pitch it's three versions behind okay yeah because it was roughly a year behind the last time i tried so if you play the demo now it's probably the version i played last actually you can also see the regional borders up here so we're that tiny little green thing so there's some pretty big countries here like this this red state it's pretty large actually aegis seems to be a Orcs and elves and humans. Sorry, I, I read that as tweezers. <laughs> Zweezers, okay. Yinks. That sounds offensive. Gedwildig. I'm just trying to pronounce these strange names. Sweet. Also, hi, Darmund in the YouTube chat. Is it 1.0? This game is not 1.0, but it's... It, I feel like every single game that I've been following in early access for the past decade is, like, releasing in the next year. It's like, Songs of Six, Odd Realm 1.0 is in the beta branch, so I actually, I need to check out Odd Realm 1.0 as well, which is much more Dwarf, for, more dwarf fortress e, but pixel art and awesome, and has some really neat mechanics in it. Um, Caves of Cud is reaching 1.0, this is reaching 1.0. Songs of Conquest hit 1.0 recently. <laughs> you played this a month ago, uh, bad, bad, bad gel person, and um, in YouTube chat, and uh, now then you waited for me to play again. Well, my last save file for this game was dated 452 days ago, so I should actually update the title.
responding to an at that I got in a Discord server. All right, so let's move forward. So I can jump to home, regenerate, back, move forward, okay. Do you ever have a moment when like your entire living space that you're currently in is like lit with natural light and then you swear for a second that everything went dark and the sun went out, but your monitors stayed on and you think to yourself, did something just blot out the sun for a millisecond or am I going insane? I really hope like a helicopter flew by and I'm not like losing it. So this is the map um, that we've generated for ourselves. We don't have any mountain, which is fine. Uh, it's just forest and whatnot. And then if I zoom in, it turns into this. Um, the Pers <laughs> Persian arrows, yes. The arrows shall blot out the sun. Um, there's no Z levels before everybody asks 55,241 times, which I think is the most commonly asked question. Uh, we do have ore under this lake, so if I drain out this lake, we can mine, which is kind of neat. Uh, if I zoom out, you can see resources on the map. We got mushrooms, we got f uh, fertile land place. We actually have a road coming in here. That's new. This is this is all new to me, this, these pre-gen roads. Are there Z levels? Well, um, and then this is the map. It, it, it big. The map in this game, it, 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 it very big. It, it real big. So uh, the dwarves are gonna hate living here. So no dwarves. <laughs> no dwarves, only orcs and maybe elves. Um, well, the question is, where do we start? I'm thinking probably close to one of these really fertile areas. Like there's livestock out there that I could capture or hunt. Uh, there's some natural grain right there. There's fruit trees here. Um, Probably like, I would say probably close to this, right? Or maybe like in this area right here? Are there X levels? What does that mean? <laughs> like genuine question. What does that mean? All right, we in game lads. Is that you have to struggle to keep text? Yeah, I'll talk about that in a sec. So you know what I just did where I placed that? That was where the game would crash the, the very first time I ever streamed this. If whenever I would place my starting location, the game would crash. <laughs> or sorry, OBS would crash, not, not the game. The game was fine, but OBS would crash. It was very odd. Um, yeah, so a neat thing about this game, tech is your tech tree is your library, and you have to make paper to upkeep the tech tree. So the higher your tech score, and the more technology you have, the bigger the libraries you need to have and the bigger studies you have to have connected to your library and the more librarians and people studying you need at any given time. Yeah, we're, we're playing the orcs because I want an easy start and I haven't played this game in 500 days, 450 days. Um, so it's it's been a while and the game's probably changed quite a bit. I do have 150 hours in this game, but I haven't played it in a really long time. And there's a reason for that. And that, the reason for that is uh, Dwarf Fortress released. So I got busy, okay? <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure I've played this since Dwarf Fortress released. I always get confused when longtime like followers refollow me. It's like, did you just misclick a button and then reclick it? Anyway. Um, just like IRL, I mean hey. Lion World City Builder. Didn't somebody make one of those? I'm pretty sure somebody made one of those, actually. Sorry, I'm just opening up a tab that I need to have up. Okay, so then they've they, then they've changed the whole librarians thing. That or I've just gotten to higher tech levels than you in chat, which is possible. Um, so Twitch chat, I I, I have a, I have a I have a task slash request for you before we start playing. Um, the first thing I need you to do is I need you to go like this short. Because, you know, I, how, how else am I going to get internet famous unless I demand that my audience boosts my content? Uh, and then the other thing is uh, it, it, Twitch chat. If you guys want to help out the YouTube chat, because there's like 200 of you here, whereas over on uh, the YouTube chat, there is uh, 34. Uh, if, if you, if you want to help out the YouTube chat, there's there's a link to the YouTube stream. Uh, Twitch, if you, if you guys want, you could lurk in both and in, artificially inflate the view count or just, you know, go leave a like on it. Although I don't know why I linked that in the YouTube chat as well. Um, and then uh, to the to the YouTube folks, if you guys want to boost the Twitch chat, same goes for you. You guys could theoretically lurk in the Twitch stream. 
uh, over here. And uh, the last thing I want to say is um, today is Friday, so it's the last scheduled stream of the week. My next stream will be on Tuesday next week, which is the 25th. Um, there will be YouTube content over the weekend. If you want to find VODs, you can find that over at the Blind Extras channel. And the last part of this spiel is uh, if on Monday you would like to receive a roundup of all of the stuff I did this week, as well as the stuff I'm loosely planning for next week, as well as some behind-the-scenes stuff and me just babbling about things and a, like, 500-word blurb about Paradox Games, because I wrote that last night, um, follow my blog. My blog is going to become a alternative to Patreon, and it's going to be what I'm promoting instead of Patreon, kind of going forward. Um, but uh, go check that out. It's also something that will enable me to create content that isn't strictly, you know, video game related. Maybe maybe I can like lock posts about my bicycle behind the paywall or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, so so we're playing the, the, the orc lads. Um, so Kretonians are, uh, sorry, excel at farming and thrive in temperate and warm climates, preferably close to water. Uh, they're vegetarians and prefer harmony and wooden structures. So they want houses made of wood. Um, there's also certain types of creatures want round buildings. Here's the thing. I've basically like stopped using all social media, Reinhardt, except for Twitch and Discord and YouTube. Uh, I don't use Twitter anymore. I haven't signed in since I installed a new OS because I'm I'm running Linux. So ever since I installed Linux, I have not signed into Twitter. No intention of it. Um, and I might actually delete that account. And um, the only social media I've been using recently, yeah, no, it's Twitter. I'm sorry, it's Twitter. Uh, and. Uh, Actually, no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Specifically, it's Twitter. And uh, I, the only social media I am using now is uh, Mastodon. And um, my blog is pretty soon, well, the, the hosting platform that I'm hosting my blog with Ghost is uh, actually federating. So they're gonna have uh, tie-ins to Mastodon. So, you know, if you wanna follow me on a social media, follow me on Mastodon. Um, anyway, so when you move your mouse around, it actually casts light, which I love. I love it, I love it, it looks so good. Um, so I need to farm. Cotton farm, fruit farm, herb farm. Let's go with fruit farm. Um, so, which one is higher fertility? <laughs> I'm assuming like lighter blue is higher fertility. Oh, I see. So click and drag to find out. Okay, so that's 73. So I'm assuming this would be really low fertility, right? Yeah, 52. Okay, so how about closer to the river? These maps are huge. So that's real high fertility. That's probably where we're gonna end up farming, but right now we've got this nicely high high fertility area up here. So let's just do 18 by 18. I cannot remember how big I was supposed to make these previously. That's 87% fertility. We'll live with that for right now. And then I can just, I think it's, what, shift? Yeah, shift click just lets you copy paste things, which is lovely. Um, although I don't know if I actually need two of these. And then I think you can also, yeah, once you hit shift, it, it opens up the room copier. Um, so you can just like copy paste things pretty quickly. Um, whoopsies, I just tabbed out. If I open this up and type in road, roads. Uh, oh wow, so many new roads. Previously there was like three types of roads. So I'm just going to run a road along here for movement speed purposes. I forgot this music was so good. This is a game that, like, its soundtrack is oddly reminiscent of, like, The Witcher. And I quite like it. Alright. You can dig for water almost anywhere to boost fertility. Yes, but the water table is limited, so you can only, you can only like, irrigate a limited amount, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just unpause for a little bit. Wherever that, where did you put that button, game developer? There it is. What's the hotkey for it? Hotkey two, okay. And then three, four, okay, makes sense. So they're gonna start just, you know, building, building stuff. So if I actually click on my individual duders, um, this is their information. Um, so th it, it does give you, you know, a little bit of information about them. Um, you, you get, like, a list of things that they've done previously. Uh, but as for, like, 
actual uniqueness, they do gain skills individually. So as they do things, or as they do things, they 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 need to have uh, their needs fulfilled. So this is pretty general based on like species. Um, and then you can look here and see how fulfilled they are in their needs um, and what stuff they still need to be like perfectly happy. The happier they are in general, the more migrants you get. Um, and uh, where, where's the other thing? Right. Th these are um, like specific tasks you can do. You can elevate them to a specific uh, job so you can make them like the master of beasts. And I'm pretty sure that the master baiter is a job, which is the like ma like guy in charge of fishing. Um, yes. Bowel movement. Yes, they poop. There is pooping in this game, and I'm pretty sure skid skinny dipping is a skill. <laughs> Um, yeah. They are not a noble. The amount of enslaved of all species. This is liked by your plebeians. Higher value equal more fulfillment. So if other people are slaved that are not them, then they're happy. Arrested criminals. They want criminals arrested. Uh, they want jewelry. They, they want to retire at some point. Yeah. And then all of these are buttons as well. So this is your, your current population. The access to materials that they need, like food. Uh, services and every single different uh, species that's in the city can be checked for their uh, needs and desires. It gets bigger. Um, this is like, you know, your full list of populace and you can scroll through them. So I could name them, but like, I don't, if you guys want me to like name people, I will, but I, it's, it's going to be hard to keep track of them. Uh, although I can sort and check where they are. Um, then, yeah, that's just access to food right now, because I'm pretty sure we have rations. Yes, so we start off with 20 rations, which, you know, it's not nothing. You love round things? So you're an elf? I'm pretty sure elves like round houses in this game, don't they? Build road bigger, damn it. Probably should pause that. They're also going to hack down trees while they're in the process. I find I hit escape way too much because of playing Dwarf Fortress. Good lord. Why did you move so many buttons around? I mean, I get it, but... Fell tree, hunt, forage. Okay. Oh yeah, no, I here, here's the thing. Um, I'm building the farms and then I'm pretty sure, like, where is it? Yeah, like right here. Because these are, these are fruit farms, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to go down here and harvest this. Because this is fruit. Yes. So I, I will go gather this fruit so that we can then plant, replant it. There's also um, a veggie farm down here. Right there. So we will gather that as well. So, yeah, no. I, 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 I am not as... Um, I, I'm actually like planning a little bit of what I'm doing here. Although, I, I'm going to get rid of that and then go veg. Vegetable. It's going to be an awful short growing season. Ah, it is what it is. I mean, we're only in second day of spring. We'll survive. Don't worry. I mean, I'm worried, but that's that's okay. You're allowed to be worried. Say forage. Doink. And doink. Who said I would forget to forage? I was literally clicking the button, obscure strategist. Not even living up to your name. That's a that's not even an obscure thing to ask for and demand. And then we need living spaces, we need pooping spaces, we need uh, bathing spaces. There's bones everywhere? That's actually kind of neat. It's like a dead animal. Huh. Save the game? Okay. That actually does work. So what do you think, Chad? Do you guys want me to uh, name stuff in this? Now you just switch from YouTube. Well, you'll get responses way faster on here than YouTube. I'll tell you that. Because I could enable dwarf naming. It's, it's up to you guys. 
This, this dude over here is being thick and lazy. Well, I'll say this. Tier 2s can just be like, name a thing, and I'll just name them. We'll do it that way. <laughs> no one to name. <laughs> it is true, we have no dwarves in this map. It is kind of not bizarre, but funny to me that because you don't... Um... Also, we need to start off. What type of livestock is that? Chat, what type of livestock is this? <laughs> that icon is too small. Or is it just, like, generic? It's all type of livestock? Okay, well, I, I should make livestock as well. There we go. I was trying to think of the term to type in. Uh, will produce meat. Livestock is needed to popu populate pastures. Pastures take up a lot of, and it is needed to populate pastures. Pastures take up a lot of space and low fertility ground, but bigger uh, sizes do not require more workers. Okay. Well, we'll produce meat and cotton. Produce meat and eggs. My guys are vegetarians, so plentiful pelts. Speaking of livestock, uh, chat room, what what uh, what type of livestock should I plant? <laughs> plant. What type of livestock should I make, or pasture should I have? What do you think? Franklin the cave turtle. Okay. Um. Let's pause for a second. Where is that button? Twink. Nope, not that. This one. Uh. How do I name you? I know you can. But developer of this Gash Darren video game has this habit of moving things around. Declare day off. Prosecute. Rename subject. There you go. Uh, Franklin the Cave Turtle. There you go. Franklin the Cave Turtle. Now exists. Uh, no, they're vegetarians, actually. So they, they're, they're not capable of such things. I know that's not what you meant by that sentence, but... Um, well, I think it, it, meat will be our trade good. Meat would be our trade good. So I think we should do one of the like one of the ones that either gives pelts or cotton. Also, it says which ones they like. Although these guys are good at all of them. These produce meat and eggs, meat and cotton. So probably onyxes then. Meat that just produces meat, meat and plentiful pelts. So it's either leather or pelts. Why are they dying? Good question. I actually, I, I, I have a theory. Can I not pause these? Is there no pause job option? Suspend jobs, there we go. Go gather stuff instead. This is why we save. Actually, okay, let's do this. It could have been any number of things, actually. My bet is probably lack of a well. But me figuring out build order is going to be like the main B space of today. <laughs> they sleeping because no bed? Nope, they definitely died. But it could have been any number of things. It could have been exposure, it could have been heat, it could have been cold. But yeah, figuring out build order for early game is gonna be a pretty major thing. It may also actually be 
food? Can they eat food if it's not in a... Uh, whatever it's called. Storage? No. Um... Food stall. Yeah, I, I think they can't actually gather food unless it's in storage, so... Food stalls will collect edible resources and make basic meals out of them for your citizens and subjects will also... Okay. Hold on, let's just pause for a second. Because all of this shit's different. Keeps equipments and furnishings available for your subjects and saves them the effort of fetching it themselves. It also pr provides happiness. Administration. Gatehouse. Warehouse. That's what I'm looking for. Logistics. I have no idea what you're talking about. Reinhardt. Just for, for clarity's sake. Is this a StarCraft reference? Every, I'm, I keep hearing weird sounds and being like, what the fuck is that? And then realizing it's ice melting in my water bottle. <laughs> it's, it's just a very odd feeling. It's like, what the hell is that sound? Oh, it's ice melting. Thank you. No, things have absolutely changed, which is why I'm just like, I'm going to make mistakes. That is just a fact. So that's 13 by 5. I don't really like that size. Let's do, um... What's that? 9 by 6? I kind of want to build off of this little thing, but this, this little building here is going to be connecting to this eventually. It's 11 tall. Hmm... You can also build just walls and then place buildings inside of them as needed, which might be what I end up doing. And crates. We're also going to... We can, you can increase the size of these, which makes them more efficient, which I'm going to do. And then where door? Places need doorways, archways. Actually, let's... Can I not undo? Did you remove the undo option, or does undo just not work right now? What's the hotkey for undo? Did you remove the hotkey for undo? I feel betrayed. Um, and then I will shrink down this one. And what is it said to rotate? No, rotate. R. There we go. Plop you in the end. I think this might have actually been the problem. But we'll see. <laughs> you always overthink the start and plan your whole city from right from the beginning. Yeah, I play this game the same way I play all games. Trial and error. Is below 1k population. The highest population I ever had was 15,000, but that was on a very early version of this game. Um, a very, very, very early version. <laughs> like, this back when it was still free on itch levels of early version. Um, so the game was pretty different in its mechanical requirements back then. <laughs> And what you needed to complete to keep people happy. And, like, there there were no skills. There were no differences. It was just the orcs, the humans, the dwarves, and the elves. And they didn't have preferences or specific needs. It was, it was all very, very, very basic. There was no, like, temperature requirements or really crazy mechanics at all. But it was still neat. Okay, so now I can slow down. Um, I'm pretty sure this just allows everything to be put into here. I think. 
or maybe I need to, oh, I see, right. Okay, so I need to just hit plus on the things I want to put in here. So let's just put uh, fruit, veg. Oh, right, yeah, it's percentages, I forgot. Uh, let's put some wood in here. Uh, let's put some of this. Let's put some of this. Let's put, where's our rations? There's our rations. Let's put the rations in there. What is itch.io anyways? You hear the cool kids talk about it, but you never really looked into why people like it. It is a storefront for games that lets the developers set their cut. Um, think about it this way. It's like the Game Jam Central for small devs. It is the place where you put your game if you are a very low budget indie um, and don't expect to sell a lot anyway. Uh, there's a lot of games for sale for charity up there. It's basically the indie games storefront where most game jams, a lot of demos and um, smaller pro yeah, actually Bandcamp for video games is probably not a bad way to put it, actually. It's like Bandcamp for video games. It is the indie game storefront for indie devs by indie devs, and it's a very small company. They have like four employees or something. It's a lot of like weird experimental shit and early prototypes for stuff. I mean, I played the early prototype for Path of Acra on itch, right? I played the early prototype for this on itch. Uh, Abdelf uh, on, on TV on YouTube asks, uh, Hey, sorry, this is off topic, but is magic still being added to Dwarf Fortress? Everything that they have widely talked about over the years is still going to be added to Dwarf Fortress, but when is the actual question? Um, if you follow the development of Dwarf Fortress closely, you'll notice very quickly that while a lot of things are, air quotes, planned, um, they're not actually going to be in the game for a while. So uh, that's all I can really tell you. Um, what was the mass housing option? Housing, husbandry, home. Really, it's just house now? Is there no like, this is house where everybody lives in now. Huh, I can't build long houses. I don't like that. I miss that, that's sad. That was actually, like, the, the last major change that they made before I started playing this. Um, was they changed how housing worked pretty dramatically. And I didn't like the change. Okay, so I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to forage. Doink. No. Blocked my... Oh, are those already set to be forged? Same with you. Ah, they need to be ripe in late summer. Got it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here, and I'm going to for, uh, allow them to build that. I'm also going to go to house. And we're going to start building houses. They have apartment, house, apartment, longhouse. Okay, well, that's what I need then. Also, I found the save button. Uh, I don't see it. So, I don't think that that exists, friend. So, I think it's just houses. Yeah. All I have is house, chamber, and so yeah, it's just houses. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Look at the top. Did he move the UI again? <laughs> Which is very, very much a me thing to like not see something on half of the screen. You guys are probably totally right, and I am just missing it. Yes, he did move it again. Okay, good to know. Thank you! <laughs> Christ almighty. No, I, I see it. It's just, it, there used to be three different options down at the bottom. Or at least I swear there used to be. No, I, I, I see it. It's, it's, all, it's all good. All 
I also, yeah, man, mm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the housing change. I, I still hate it. I still hate it. The housing used to be so much more freeform. Oh well. Like you used to build a building and then like click and drag the little areas as houses. But when he, when the developer implemented the uh, ability for them to set their own houses, all the houses are now squares. Yeah, no, it's all good. Delay is a thing. So I, fuck man. <laughs> I wish he never made that change. I mean, it is cool that they can like assemble their own houses, but I want to be able to design the shape of the actual housing layout, which turned all my cities in this game from like cool flowing, like weird shaped nightmares to like, well, now I have to fit a square into this weird spherical circle donut building I've built. God damn. Um, but like, fuck it. We'll just do that for right now. I'll, I'll make cooler looking things later down the line. Oh, I know. It doesn't change the fact that you have to fit the house space into a square. No, I'm aware that you can change to the shape, but the actual layout of the house is still a square. So just because I can change the shape of the walls, the space that they can inhabit has always just been a square. Unless, like, I'm going crazy. Like, like, like let's pause for a second here, but... Like, if I say, I want to build an apartment, right? Like... Like, I, I could turn this off, and then I could place these. I could place, like, one, two, three of these. And then I could go into here, and I... Well, not this. I could go into here, because you moved this menu again. Um, I could go to struct... Well, no, not that. I could go to structures and then I could change the shape of it, sure. But like, and like add walls and stuff. But I, I can't make this a circle. <laughs> that's the problem. That's the, that's the big issue I've had with this game since they made that change. It's the one thing I really hate about this game now. What does plus minus do? Uh, make area embiggen. Basically gives you a builder, big, bigging, bi bi bigging, hmm. bigger building brush. Ah, uh, man, I like how you guys are like. Can't you click this button? Okay, so you you click this, right? It just gives you more in a row, right? So it's still this, it's still this. The, uh, as for the square icon, which is, uh, what, this? This is, uh, this room requires to be built indoors. You must pick structures type, right? So I can select, uh, mud building. I can select, uh, grand building. I can select stone building. And I can select wooden building. Which, actually, I should build wooden buildings because I prefer those. But, y you know. Circles are a conspiracy theory. I just think it's weird that in a game about building cool shapes and structures, uh, you're restricted to just squares for the footprint of living space. Yeah, the grid icon lets you draw freeform walls, but the actual space that they populate within that freeform whatever the fuck is still square. Of <laughs> dirty squares, yeah. Yeah. What is Songs of Six? It's a empire builder. Big old city builder. Guess that stuff requires stone. I love how they're just sleeping on the ground. It's funny to me. I oh, know that's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to unsuspend jobs, activate jobs.
basically, the, the space that they are allowed to furnish and make their own is a static square. There are different shapes of squares and different sizes of squares with different population allowances based on the type of square you select. I love the flowers. Those are pretty. Basically, if I had like eight different shapes, if I could do like a triangle, a square, uh, a circle, a diamond, and a rectangle for each one, I'd like the system. But because I'm limited to just squares, it feels restricted. Because like the way furniture is done in this game, and this is what that change allowed for, is as they need stuff, they just go get it. Which honestly is kind of fucking rad <laughs> that they just go get what they need. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that they're not putting any of this stuff in here. We're also out of food now. Hold on. So didn't I tell them to forage? Okay, so that's that's a doable thing now. I'm just gonna go in here and suspend a bunch of jobs. We're still in that early game phase where I don't wanna die, really. But they do need to go start getting food. Increase the priority of this. Like, we have vegetables. We have capacity for it. Now they go do it? Okay. I mean, all right. <laughs> Did you assign the worker? You don't need to assign workers, they just do the job automatically? Unless they've changed that completely. Manor lords for the weird shape heaven. Yeah. Because I would like to survive the winter. <laughs> as much as it might not seem that way, I would like to. How are we doing? Because they're going to go to both these locations and, like, gather all this stuff, let it sit on the ground, and then they'll put it back up in here. May me needs someone assigned. Does it? Okay, well, that's, that's new then. I thought that they automatically took jobs when there was a job available. Or did they turn that to no longer the default? You set the target of unemployed. We set the target of the unemployed people will soon sign up and start working at the room. Yeah, this used to be automatic. It used to automatically to assign, assign the necessary minimum. Okay, well, that's new then. Let's change. Got it. Well, now I can see what's in my inventory, so that's good. Should have been on auto. Yeah, it's very strange that it wasn't on auto. Like, where's where's the auto button? Because there used to be an auto button. Let the AI adjust the worker amount round based on the thing. Oh, I see. It's 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 a check mark. Auto employ, don't auto employ. Yeah. So I'm I'm I, previously I remember auto employ just being the default. Where it would just, uh, uh, like, automatically employ the necessary based on, like, unemployment amounts and what you needed. Since they take odd jobbers? Um, I'm just going to passively disagree with that, but okay. I think it should give you a pop-up when you build the first building or something, but... I don't actually need that much wood in here. Food on the other hand. So I also do have grains, so let's throw some grain. All right, well, got that sorted regardless. Just like for the initial construction, because like as somebody who's who's an old player of this game who played a long time ago, if there's a major change to the way the game works mechanically like that, it would be nice to. Um, 
know that going in, you know? I'm gonna build toilets. This used to be something you had to research, <laughs> which is I think is kind of funny actually. Do they can do they create any negative smells or anything that I should be aware of? This is the sort of game that would process something like that. They certainly create negative sounds. I'll put it that way. That's six tall. What's up, Krampus? See, this, this is what Songs of Six is about to me. I think I'm just going to make a super unoptimized building. <laughs> that looks cool to me. The video game. <laughs> That's what Songs of Six is to me. And when they force me into square limitations, I get annoyed. How else am I going to build my nightmare rows of pooping stations where they get to stare at each other. Unless you give me the full freedom to create my own personal nightmare. We're gonna need furniture, so I'm gonna need to make a carpentry stall. It's okay, just don't forget to wash your hands. But we can at the very least get this structure started. And let's go into here and activate job. Start that up. <laughs> How's that log coming out? Yeah, there you go. Needs a communal rag and a stick for wiping. Oh, they probably have two. Maybe three. Always fascinated by the way buttons change in this game. Well, loyalty's up to 60%. These people seem to be hosed. General happiness is going up, which is good. Uh, so I need to make a carpenter. Let's see, hunter. There's four. There, uh, that's just the forge job. Perfications. Uh, produce meat and plentiful pelts. Pa pasture. Let's say the onyx pasture is probably what I'll make. It's probably what we'll make, but we'll do that later. Let's do carpenter first. And I'll make the carpenter like down here somewhere. Is it control S? No, shift S? It's the hotkey to open up the search. It's something S. Left control F. What? I guess find. Okay. Um, carpenter. Everything goes bad as time passes. Everything goes bad as time passes. Let's just put the wood away. Screw it. I'll put the livestock in here. Although, actually, how many can I even put in there? Just one. I mean, here's the thing. I kind of don't care that much. We'll be fine. Because you can get livestock other ways, too. Like, I'm not too worried about food currently. We are doing okay. More worried about just getting stuff started, you know? Can always buy more? Exactly. I also like doing this, building houses with roof in the middle. It's kind of a neat idea, actually. I'm just making them very open. Putting like storage on one side and then the workbench is on the other. <laughs> but way too small. Way too small. 
Open you up a little bit. You're not gonna let me do that? Oh, come on, game. That's rude. Fine. I will be heartbroken by your limitations. That'll do. All right, so down here, I'll do this and this. Oh, actually, this is just storage, right? Can I make these bigger? It's gonna require a bunch of stone, which I probably don't have, so I will need to go and harvest. Cause that's how everything in this game goes. Oh, I don't have this thing? Okay, well, go make it then. <laughs> go get some, you lazy son of a... Hmm. Those can go huge now. Not gonna need too much storage anyway, so let's just kinda go like... Doom. Uh, for you, what's a convenient shape? So chat, when you guys play this game, for, the, for those of you who do, do you build everything optimized or do you try and make shit look cool? Because <laughs> I don't care if it's optimal as long as it looks cool, just so that we're on the same page. What does the auxiliary cost? Is it just more wood? Okay. Both TBH? Yeah, I, to me both is a bonus. but not necessary. So that's gonna need stone. I wonder. Yeah, no, guess I can't forge stone. So I need to get stone somehow. Stone mine. That's very clearly not stone. Right, no it is. Why were you the other color then? Do I not start with stone? What do I start with here? Oh, I do start with stone, okay, so we're fine. I was gonna say, Jesus. You need 32 more stone. Yeah, livestock's just disappearing. That's fine, we got four in storage. Can always rebuild or expand or shrink space. I have a big problem with like deleting old areas in city builders. Like around the time that I start deconstructing the old city to construct new city is usually around the time I stop playing and <laughs> just go build a new one. Uh, I am using the scroll wheel to increase and decrease, but I was curious to see exactly how many ticks in each direction I could do. So if you were watching Sneaky Sneaky, I've been using that the whole time. It's just the reason I was clicking it there was because I wanted to see the maximum number of ticks and it's not super clear when scrolling up and down. Especially when the thing is bigger than the building. So I was just kind of counting in my head more than anything. This game's awesome in a lot of ways, yes, YouTube chat. Uh, to answer this question for the umptillionth time, this game is a city builder slash empire builder. Is what Sons of Six is. It's been in early access for quite some time. Think Pharaoh on steroids. While there are, like, individually named characters with skills and such, they're not anywhere near as detailed as certain other games that we tend to enjoy here. So this is set to auto-employ by default. So that's weird. <laughs> Furnit, like, Carpenter, auto-employ. Warehouse, 
doesn't turn that on by default. What? Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, but that's just confusing to me. Doesn't make much sense. And then in this corner, I'm going to cram in a janitor workstation. Although, do I need to click and drag this? Yeah, I do. Okay, so janitor workstations used to be just a place and done. Now you actually need to build them, which is interesting. Well, let's connect the janitor workstation to the lavatory, because that just makes sense. What am I making these out of? Wooden building, okay. Oh. Well, that's a lot bigger than they used to be. Okay, so I need what? Two taller? Yeah, we can do that. All right, let's do that. Boop. Workstations, flunk, and utilities. It's interesting, these can't be made bigger. It's only 90% efficiency. Which is obviously going to bother me. That that is one thing is everything needs to be 100% efficient. <laughs> so if the, if it's 1% off, I won't build it. Or I tend to not unless I, I I just really need a thing done. Okay, we got the door. We'll work on that. So this down here is just employing, what, 10 people or so? Yeah, it's employing five people. I mean, we have 10 total. We'll automatically have that ticked. Yeah, but it's weird if some things need a thing, but don't automatically have that ticked. Anyway, anyway I don't know. <laughs> it's just, uh, it, the, the only way I see that is, well, that's an odd choice, I guess. Also, this here needs to have furniture in it now. I'm gonna need to build more, more, more bigger stock houses soon, very soon. Let's just let them work on that. I can also activate all of these jobs to chop down them trees. <laughs> Michelangelo was so great. Why didn't he get to see the first 15 chapels? Hello, Lord Floof. How are you? Also, no banner flags, Krampus, and Grim. Sneak, sneaky, snaky. Hello. Hope you guys are doing well. If I haven't said hello to you, just, like, holler at me and I'll say hi. So, general happiness is raising up to 76. Probably because we are building toilets, if I had to bet. <laughs> It's probably got something to do with that. Did I say hi to you twice? Please take one on the back. I, I retract the second hello. Been super busy at work. Hey, me too, man. Streaming. But, you know, we, we all have jobs. You are permitted to have a job. I'll allow it. But remember, you have to tune in at least once a month or I will no longer allow you to have job. None of this is factual and entirely sarcasm. Got to suppress your desire to act to well actually from your to to. I have to. I got to suppress. Oh, to to well actually. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I mean, well actually. What's this? What's this button? Mean? It's blinking. Food. Oh, food bad. What is that, two months of food? I'm trying to figure out where that... There used to just be a graph that I could just click. It might actually be this and just look different now.
where it just straight up says like how much food you have. Something else, else I should also click on. This is the battle screen, which currently I obviously don't have. And then this is the world map. Oh shit. I like the way this world map looks now. <laughs> you can only really see your own area. But um, if I hover over things, you can actually see active trade routes. So right now these people here are trading with us. No one else really. Um, I can go to the realm screen. I don't have anything in here right now, it looks like, but this lets you eventually set laws and taxes for your region. Like this game gets kind of intense. I mean, right now there's an army sitting here. Uh, who I, it says it's neutral. I, I don't actually, it says they're part of my empire. So I don't know if I have an army, but It's, what, 400 or 37 dudes, so it's not exactly a big army, but... Yeah, you, you can see where different groups are trading, and I guess once you discover these areas and start conven convening with them, you can actually see, like, little things moving around on the overworld, like trade caravans and whatnot, and boats. I'm assuming... I'm trying to figure out what all these icons mean, because there's a lot of new icons. Right, and then there's this. <laughs> um, yeah, this game's a lot. Found the tech tree. Do they love round buildings? I actually can't remember. I, I love round buildings, so I quite frankly don't care if they do. <laughs> do they like round buildings? Food prep, building. They like wooden buildings. Uh, they prefer forest plaza and cobblestone roads and dirt roads. Uh, hold on. There's a lot going on in here. They don't like wrongful deaths. Weird. They also don't like slaves. Hey. They also don't like being slaves. Well, they don't like desecrated things. They hate cannibalism. <laughs> they don't like tourists. I think I'm an orc chat. What does it say? Housing. Well, the thing is, they want to be allowed to have furniture. Because right now, the, you'll, if you look in the housing right now, they're sleeping on... Um, Okay, so something that is kind of interesting about the game, this game, even though I was complaining about it earlier, the way the housing system in this game works is they, is there a species that likes being a slave? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? Uh, there are species that like slaves, though. I think the bugs might be too dumb to notice. <laughs> I'm not even, like, saying that in a mean way. Like, I think they might actually be too dumb to notice. They prefer roundness. Where does it say that? Like, I'm looking to try and spot that in here. This text is kind of hard for me to read, I'll be honest. But anyway, um, the way the housing system in this game works is, let's see if I can find this screen. Um, Sir, you need a bath. Holy shit. Um, if, I, if I pause for a second here. Uh, maybe it's this screen? Nope, maybe it's this screen. Properties, decrees. I like how there's just, like, a declare day off and a rest button for an entire species. Like, <laughs> it's just, it just says a lot about what this game lets you do. Um, trying to find the housing allowance button. Jesus, fuck the amount of menus this game has. I'll, I'll be honest with you, this game is very li has very little in common with Dwarf Fortress, and the developer, as of the last time I spoke with him, had never actually even played or seen Dwarf Fortress being played. Um, so it's nothing like Dwarf Fortress. This is this is the menu I'm looking for down here, right here. Um, so you can allow different types of materials. You can allow them to take up to 40 pieces of furniture per house. 
You can allow them to take jewelry, pottery, cloth, wood, and uh, other things. And it, it, it basically, when you allow them to take stuff, that makes them happy because then they furnish their houses with it. So right now it's literally just like hay and dirt. That's all they have right now. Um, I'm also just going to quite literally clone this building and just plop her right here. That or maybe renovate it and like double the size, but I think I'll just clone it. It's easier. Do I like this game? No, I hate it. That's why I haven't played it in two years. Of course I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing it if I didn't like it. I don't play games I don't like. But this is literally just gonna be for wood and furniture. This will just be for food, I think. That's what we'll do. I also really need to drop down the number of people working in here because there's other things that need doing, turns out. Because we're hitting spring again. So they should actually be doing this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to say suspend job. Nope, not this. Sus, please. There we go. My warehouse is good enough for now. Oh, thanks, Dad. I'm sure it is. Uh, obscure strategist. Please keep telling me what to do. And I will complain louder every time you do. Bob Tron, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I appreciate you. What's up, man? Doing my best here, Dalkin. I'm always winning. I was banging 30 gram rocks. It's how I roll. Because I'm bi winning, not bipolar. That's it's true, I'm actually bipolar. I was banging seven gram rocks. It's a very specific era of YouTube. <laughs> you played the demo? It's difficult, but really cool. It's difficult in the same way Dwarf Fortress is difficult, this game. It's just there's a lot to remember. If you've never heard that Charlie Sheen meme, you're probably better off. Because somebody asks him in an interview, Suited Giraffe, where he says, uh, they ask him, are you bipolar? He goes, nah, I'm bi winning. <laughs> Because they're interviewing him about, like, his drug abuse problems and the fact that he had, like, two wives and a girlfriend. Uh, and, like, the parties that he was having and the amount of money he was spending on drugs. See, here's the thing. If I ask questions, feel free to answer, Obscure Strategist. If you just start saying, do this, do this, go play the game yourself. That's always been my philosophy and always will be my philosophy. I don't know about based, I think more like problem, but. Yeah, I guess this is where this menu is. He really has rebuilt and re like organized this entire UI like five times. The trees dance, yeah, they jiggle. Everything jiggles in this game. Second day of spring, I just need to get this farm like started. That is my number one priority right now. Odd jobbers, three of them. It's okay. Slow down time. Let's activate jobs. Allow them to do this. So those three odd jobbers can go down and start doing that. Oh, wow. The farms look different. You know, it's funny. This is one of those games where people are either like, this is one of the coolest looking games I've ever seen. Or they're like, holy fuck, this game is ugly. And there's like no in between. People absolutely hate the way this game looks or adore this, the way this looks. 
Water, uh... Okay, what's, what's the terraforming options, actually? Fishery, farms, yep, 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 yep. Hunter, obviously. Husbandry, I'm going to queue this up, but I'm not actually going to build it just yet. Now, is it huts that increase the... Okay, it's huts that increase the efficiency. And I, I don't actually know how big I made it. <laughs> These are all 18 by 18. Put a gate there. And I'm going to suspend it. Personally, you tend to divide city builders based on how mechanically uh, concrete the population are. Does the population directly build the city, or are uh, we just meant to assume that they are, even though you can build the exact same efficiency with a population of zero? Oh, you mean like whether or not you call it what? A city builder or a colony builder? Is, is that what you mean? But like, yeah, that, that, I mean... To, to me, the, the game that this game has the most in common with is and will probably forever be. Um, it's the, to me, this is like uh, insanity, ver an, an insanity variant of Total War is really what this game is to me. Where's the, it, where did they hide the immigration menu? Oh, sweet. Right clicking this is good. Inspiring immigrate, immigrants were authorized. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so you right click and then you can authorize immigration. Well, we have one new duder in the towner. Is six a story generator or at all like cut or DF? If you consider games like Total War a story generator, sure. I mean, you could probably pull a narrative out of it, but is that is that the focus? To me, this game is like Dwarf Fortress if it was Factorio. It's much more the game aspect and, like, the city design aspect. But you could absolutely pull a narrative out of it. I mean, I can pull a narrative out of Minesweeper. So maybe, maybe I'm just, like, a gifted individual. I don't know. But, uh... You can auto-accept on the right button. Uh, where's the auto- Oh, is it it's this button? Oh, so you can auto-accept up to that amount of population. Okay, that's neat. He just rebuilt this. And this entire menu looks different from the last time I saw it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I don't have any mountains, so I can't really have dwarves that'll be happy. Usually what I end up doing is I end up having, um, some of the elves off in a corner as, like, farmers, some of the bug people as soldiers, or maybe not these guys. No, the, these guys? Yeah, these guys. The Girthmists as soldiers, and then humans as, like, librarians, basically, is what I've always done in the past that I've been most successful with. So that's probably what we'll end up doing, but initially it'll just be the orcs, yeah. It's like apples and oranges. Well, I mean, the the similarities with this and Dwarf Fortress kind of end at they're both city builders, sort of. This is getting built up slowly. And then once all of the buildings that I have that actively need furniture are done, um, I can then, from there, move on to... Um, I can then move on to giving them some furniture. Okay, so once this sucker's done, this is just gonna be for wood. So 
auto just for clarity here. Automatically authorize new immigrants up until this amount. Okay. But no, the, the to, before anybody starts asking me about what my goal is for this playthrough, my goal is to literally just learn new mechanics. <laughs> Uh, because I haven't played this game in 451, 452 days according to the last save I have. Um, so, my most recent save was 452 day days ago. 51 as of yesterday. So that is the sole goal for this run, is to just remember how this game works. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I'm out of food. So, that's great. Which means at some point they're just gonna keel over and die. Work value, fertility event, cycle, trading. Let's just pause for a second. I feel like there's a reference in here I should understand, but I very much do not. In regards to that songs of six is so good statement. Oh, see, I, I read that as, like, Steven. <laughs> but, okay, sure. How many odd jobbers are we at? Two currently? You know, it's a good joke. I mean, it, you know the joke didn't land when. It's fine, though. It's all right if jokes don't land. Kind of exp Oh, hey, we got another populace. I was sitting here expecting everybody to die. Workload is low. So late summer is when we get... Fruits and veggies. Oh boy. Is there mushrooms on the map that can be harvested? Maybe? I don't know when mushrooms are ready. They're all blinking, so I'm leaning to believe that that's probably unlikely. Everything's ready late summer. That doesn't really make sense for mushrooms, but. It's called wheat of Indian? Of wheat of India? That's odd. Uh, it's largely one guy, but he like hired help for uh, music. But yeah, the developer for this game's it, this, the developer for this game is Jake. So Feasts of Architecture Songs of Six is what is if uh, you want to build a but 6 doesn't have the story DF has. Yeah, no, I mean 6 is a very mechanically satisfying game, but you're not going to tell the you're not really going to know the story of the singular war commander who killed 45 dudes and then made a artifact out of some dead cow's skull which was a uh, helmet that has images of all of the battles that they did. Like that's not going to happen in this game. But you can build a very very satisfying cool as fuck looking city and then fight a big battle in it. Yeah, no, Jake from State Farm, obviously. Is it Jake from State Farm? Goddamn, it's been a while since I paid attention to State Farm memes. Let's get more odd jobbers around. We're up to 12 people. I'm kind of worried that uh, we're going to run out of... St we're, we're not going to actually get food out of this. <laughs> 
Not this year, anyway. Well, it says that this wild vegetation is ripe. Hold on. Let's pause. Um. Blocked by other jobs. Okay, so what I need to do is... Is there, like, a priorities thing? I don't think there is. Suspend this. Suspend this. And suspend this. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting stuff forged. We're getting food again! Yay! We can stop, like, being at threat of death now, which is good. We're also building our toilets, which will help make people happier. And you guys can hear the realistic pooping sounds. People can go mine all those, or cut, chop down all those trees. Although it's still telling me we have no food. I guess they have to put it away. Because this doesn't have a worker at it. Got it. It's sort of like an old school Command and Conquer like si simulation. It's like Command. Well, I, I I don't know too much about CNC, but I, I can tell you that the combat in this game is sort of like a very light Total War. Similar, I guess, in the same way that, or in in the same vein of something like um, a Manor Lords, but also at the same time very different than Manor Lords. Okay, so we're getting food again. We actually have food being registered again, which is good. And we're harvesting that fruit, which is also good. Hallelujah. So my ri my chance of death is now lower because <laughs> we now have food again. And I think that's number of months of food, I think is what that number means. So general happiness should go up again. People should be less pissed off at me for a while. Uh, let's activate job. Let's also activate that. It's days of food? Okay, so like day-night cycle of food, I guess. We can also bring that fruit in. Activate job. We're getting there. Slowly starting to remember how things in this game work. Slowly. Okay, so this right here is literally going to be pause. Uh, this is just going to be. Wait, did did it did it literally? Oh wow, it copied all the settings too. Wasn't expecting it to do that. It's kind of neat, but I didn't want it to do that. Uh, let's drop all these down to zero and just say. You're going to be furniture and wood is what this place is going to be. I don't I think it should have much more furniture much more wood than furniture but It's like 16 to 20 days or something in each season being 4 days. Oh, and a year, e each year is like 16 to something days? I mean, yeah, that sound, sounds right. Doesn't sound too far off. I also feel like um, farming has gotten more intense since I last played. Like just the amount of food that we're getting per harvest seems to have been rebalanced, which is fine. Let's just start all of this being built. The next thing that we kind of also I've got wild opiate right there <laughs> by the way there's a there's a clip of me from a while ago that's just like turns out opium makes a lot of money or something like that is literally what I'm saying like all, all caps like blasting as loud as I can possibly brain um, and uh, so I'm quite happy that there's wild opium right there <laughs> guys we're, we're gonna build a drug empire 
We're going to be an orc-powered drug empire. I hope you're ready. But uh, once we get these two fields done, we'll make a hearth. We already have a well. We're way ahead of you on the well. I don't need the hearth until winter, but we're almost at winter, so maybe I should build the hearth. We already survived one winter without it. What's two? I'm also very... Loyalty is decreasing because I just got a couple new people in. Also, I should probably stop allowing people. Now that I think about it, which is right here. The reason I say that is because we're running out of food anyway. <laughs> but you know, you definitely want to keep running out of food, right? Because, you know, just zero days worth of food running into winter. Excellent. Question is, how many people are going to die? I mean, I do have wheat. Actually, hold on a second. Could I make a... Turns grains into bread. Requires coal and fired ovens. Ah. Orcs aren't really a huge fan. Um, hmm, let's just do this real quick. Oh, did I grab mushrooms? If they did, they didn't have time to really get out there. Hmm. What is this, 40k? You know, a 40k mod would really suit this game. Once we get this up and running, we can start a meat and, like, food. Or a meat and possibly cotton sales thing. You know, I, I tend I tend to agree uh, that you're very much correct, our Obscure Strategist. Although, I, I don't know if this has changed. It could very much have changed. But when I last played this game, it was quite... Not triv... Trivial is the wrong word. It was relatively trivial to go from, like, spiral collapse, I guess, to, um, like, recovery. It just took a little bit of time, and you just kind of had to slowly, you had to, like, mass unemploy everything and then slowly reemploy everything. Okay, so do I need tech? For that? Where did you hide the tech tree? You know, true story. I played this game for 15 hours before I found the tech tree back when. Because it used to be hidden somewhere even more obscure. That's something I should try and go for. The old Trek tree looks so crazy different. Yeah, no, it definitely does. Something that I, I actually miss about the older UI is the older UI for this game was a lot more stylized. It was a lot more like, you know, the way old Fallout UI used to be, you know, where it was more style over substance. And I kind of liked that about this game, and I kind of missed that, but... I think it, it is definitely a change for the better now, I'll say that. So I'm real worried about the fact that I just straight up have no food. 
I have a question, chat. These guys are vegetarians. Can they eat meat? Or is it straight up like a they won't eat meat? Because I need food right now. And I don't remember having such a hard time farming, which means they probably rebalanced it. They will eat meat? Okay, so they will eat meat, they just don't like it. Okay, well... Uh, trying to look around, see where the nearest, like, wild livestock is. These birds? There they are. Hmm. Okay, so down there, basically. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Okay. Um, so they're just like er, human vegetarians. Is they'd, they'd rather not, but they will if forced. I'm just going to build a tiny little, I think tiny, butcher shop slash hunter down here. The trick is that you make sure you shut down everything late summer so that they focus on foraging. That seems a bit silly. It's weird to me that there isn't like a do this when it becomes available at highest priority button, but noted. I mean, I can always jump back to an auto save if I have to, right? They love food, but they're vegetarian, right? Well, I mean, I basically eat vegan food at home. Although I have cheese right now, so not currently, but. I mean, I can also just like set up a meat selling in industry as soon as I need it, so. Because right now we just have no food. It's also springtime now, so. Or about to be springtime. So before people start to die randomly. You know, I remember this from before. High speed in this game, staring at the trees, makes me fucking dizzy. <laughs> it still does it. It like makes me feel like I'm drunk. Like I have to zoom out. Like medium speed, totally fine. Slow speed, totally fine. This. Like, I, I I, feel like my brain is breaking when I see them shaking like that. It's like, why is the world warping in front of my eyes? You can also go to the same tab as Forage and have some guys hunt for a quick dinner. Sure. I mean, I should probably do that, yeah. Yeah, I should probably do that. See if someone will just queue up this job. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't think that button was in the game before, but I, I saw it when I was looking at the other options. Um, I'm also just going to jump up to here. Throw eggs or throw meat in there. Just so that we have food. It, it, it Like, I starving to death and uh, maybe hurting your morals a little bit better than not starving. It, hurting your morals a little bit is probably better than starving to death. I'll just <laughs> say that. Also equip this job down here. So somebody will go grab that job. Okay, so we got egg and meat in there. Guess this guy's butchering it in here. Oh, interesting. There's now a cadaver in there. What do I do with cadavers? Because that's new. Them bringing the egg, egg and meat and whatnot into there. I've never seen that before. I'm assuming they're doing that because they don't have the hunter's shop. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, if, if, a fir if I'm playing a first-person shooter and it has head bob and I can't turn the head bob off, I can't play that game. Game's unplayable. Literally broken. Well, 
Well, at least we have food again. So we're not gonna die. That's good. I also need food distribution. Oh, look, he's just dragging them. That's funny. I hate bobbing. I, I'm always amazed when I see people games playing games with head bobbing in it. It's like, how are you doing that? Okay, so this... Isolation 100. I'm trying to figure out what is the maximum population of these. Like, does it say how many people it can house? We're getting this done. Still informing me I have no food, but there is food in here. It's just probably going. Oh, there it goes. Sweet. Okay, so let's uh, just go to here. Nope, let's go here. Nope, let's go here, maybe. Food stall. So that's all new to me, food stalls and stuff. Before you would build like, yeah, it was just, I think it was like, not the rest, it wasn't a restaurant, it was like just a food distribution place. Food stalls will collect edible resources and make basic meals out of them for your citizens and subjects will also get the chance to pick what they want and thus improve food preference and build your food stalls relatively close to a food filled warehouse. Okay, so. All right, these don't need walls. Okay, so it's just build a zone. Place a stall. Basically, I think I'm gonna need to start going for stone pretty soon. Can I shrink you down just to the right size? No, okay. <laughs> just curious. We're so back. Yeah, we got eggs and steaks. We're okay. There's cadavers everywhere. Life is terrible. First popping effect IMO is Minecraft. God, I can't watch Minecraft if they've had I if they have head bobbing on. This is what usually happens in your cities? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, food distribution was totally different the last time I played this. I'm assuming this is a job that gets auto completed. Yes, okay. That's neat. Okay, what other kinds of stalls are there? Just the one? It's just food stalls? Okay. I'm also going to start doing this. Just cloning these suckers. One aspiring immigrant. We'll wait a little bit. Um, I'm also going to... I don't know if I'm going to copy these. I think what I'm actually going to do is go to this. Uh, you know what? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to stick to the default houses. I think I can stick these two on top of each other like this. I think I can do that. <laughs> yeah, and then I can cram an apartment in here. So somebody gets a nicer house. And then we have to start allowing furniture probably. This will make for a little city center thing. Oh shit. I want wooden walls, not mud walls. Okay, 
so let's go back to houses. This looks a lot closer to what I was expecting. All right, there we go. Yeah, and then we'll also have to do religion at some point, but this is just gonna be a little housing center for this farming region. Got two aspiring immigrants. How's general happiness levels doing? Ah, much better. Nice, nice. And then for the, the throne, the throne's gonna get moved somewhere at some point. Into a much nicer region, I think. We got three odd jobbers. We're the ones running around building stuff. And I got 11 days with the food. All right, you know what? Let's um, let's bring in more people. Yeah, the, the way um, immigration used to work, at least the way immigration worked um, previously, is you would just right-click this, or maybe it was like double-click. It was, it was something like that, and then they'd just immigrate. And then I think you could just say automatic yes or automatic no. There was no, like, conditions on it. But uh, also, hi, Creed. Creed, I was going to ask you, um, how's that uh, update for uh, Soul Ash? Because the developer of that actually DM'd me recently and was like, hey, uh, a while ago you said you were waiting for certain updates. Anyway, I just added that last, last update that you said that you were waiting for. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> fine. Starting up a new game right now. Well, get back to me in like an hour. <laughs> Two hours, maybe. Uh, house. I want you, okay, well, guess I have to go here, go structures, mud building, grand building, wooden building. I keep trying to use my video editing software tools, or hotkeys rather. Okay, how come you made those all doors? Oh, probably because I didn't select walls. Wooden ceiling. So I am gonna start building some wooden walls. How many is that? That's what, nine? Nine. Let's do six. So I'm, I'm also well aware that this is going to probably collapse because bigger buildings need supports. So if the roofs get mad when I go to put roofs on them, then at that point, we'll figure that out when I get there. How do I... Suspend jobs, disable maintenance. Suspend jobs, delete, no, okay, remove, man. Maintenance, activate job planning. Where's the, do I? Oh, there it is, okay. Why can't I like save for that? Or <laughs> delete jobs, that's what I want. Near industry, maybe, got it. And then I'll put a roof on that and I'll cram other things into there. You won't work over, it's dragging ass. Oh no. Bad day at work, mate. So now 
up to 24 people. We got seven days worth of food. Building another fruit farm. Working on this. So a lot of the fruit from this farm is actually going to go into here. We do have meat. I'll bet you we also have pelts now. How many eggs do we have? Uh, zero. Okay, let's actually... Oh, I, I already have storage for pelts. Nope, that's not the button I wanted to hit, game. Got a whole six hours left. I have C S Y X num num numbers, the hours left. <laughs> Structures. Wooden building room. Wooden ceiling. Pretty sure that's what I need to do for this. All right, wooden wall. Combination of tool that makes, oh. Well, I mean, I could have just done that to make my life easier. Makes enclosed rooms. Basically, I'm probably gonna move my storehouses into here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm also just messing around with the tools because everything has changed. Quite literally, everything has changed. New level has bes been bestowed upon your name. Uh, an emir is a chosen one designated to lead his peoples to greatness. In order to secure future growth, we must turn to our ingenuity. I've now unlocked a laboratory, which lets us uh, get new tech. Sweet. Call me when I have a thousand people, game. So you're looking forward to the weekend? So chat room, because it's Friday, any plans for the weekend? Anybody doing anything fun this week? Coolest thing I'm doing is doing more things with plants and then working on my blog. Which currently is kind of my for fun thing. Wait, is there just like a stone deposit here? What? Where's this stone coming from? Oh, probably because I have to collect stone from this. Right, yeah, because you can collect surface stone, can't you? Super duper forgot that you could do that. Board games and homies. Sounds fun. Hopefully not moving too far. That's always a pain. Carpenter and tailor takes leather and makes clothing. Well, that's gonna do cotton. Just wondering what else I can build right now. Is it literally just those two? Yeah, it's okay, so it's carpenter and tailor. Make a stone mine, probably, uh, okay, hold on. What's the stone mine up there? Stone mine down there. There's cotton farms, grain. There's ore up there, you're up there. Um, Clay's all in the middle of the water. So I kind of want to make a stone mine, but I can also just forage stone, I think. Or maybe it's clear, is that? Clear rock, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, so clearing rock lets you gather stone, I think. I'm also going to lower down some of this wood in here and just add rock in. Oh, well, happiness is still going up. Well, not so much. Although I'm gonna go into access 
I'm going to give them access to wood. And no units of furniture yet, because I do actually have quite a lot of wood. So I'm going to give them access to wood so they can furnish their houses with wood. So you'll actually see wood things popping up in their living spaces. Because at, like, okay, um, this keeps flickering, but... You see, like, there, there, at, at the bottom... I can't, like, highlight it directly, but at the bottom of the names of the list, there's resources. It says four out of 40 wood. So they're just going to go start furnishing their little houses with wood as time goes on. Because they now have access to wood and can now furnish their houses with wood. Because we have a lot of wood. So might as well just give them access to wood until I desperately need wood. You're working Saturday, Sunday, going to a barbecue hosted by work? Is this, like, the kind of barbecue you look forward to or the kind of barbecue you dread? <laughs> Clay to go, go out garbage and then board games and baseball? You're probably going to work on your guide write-ups or do paperwork you've been putting off? Yeah, I know that feeling. Also, it looks like uh, we've got our first pasture up and running. So we've now got onyxes. So these will produce cotton, which I guess I kind of fucked up on. I should have gone for leather, but... Yeah, I don't know. For me, I kind of put this game in the same in a very similar bucket to um, Manor Lords. This game is just really chill to me. It's really chill. Like everything about this game is just super relaxing. <laughs> like, it's, I, I I don't know if it was like intended to be that when it was made, but. Looking forward to it. The crew you work with you uh, is is full of people you'd like to hang out with outside of work, but everyone is like 12 plus older years older than you are. I'm just going to state this, but I have to be careful the way I say it, because if I say it wrong, it sounds bad. Um, age stops mattering post the age of like 25, unless you're dating. Which is why I have to be careful about how I say that. Like, I don't know. The guy I talk with the most around my building is in his 60s, and I'm 30, so. Which is kind of funny, because I, I, I'm i I'm just constantly reminded how casually racist some, pe some people are in certain age categories where I live. It's like, wow! Half the time. Yeah, you can learn how to not speak <laughs> from people that aren't your age. Your work twin? You have a work twin? That's a novel concept. And then as you zoom out, you can actually like see these almost sort of factorio-ish moves or visuals, I guess. 